swimming areas at five state beaches closed tonight because of high levels of bacteria. Water samples being tested right now to figure out when the water will be safe to go back into. Hi, everybody. Glad you're here tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. This is just the latest time that swimming areas have had to close this summer. This time, swimming is now closed in these parks. Take a look. Indian Wells State Park in Shelton. Kettleton State Park in Southbury, Wadsworth Falls State Park in Middlefield, Wharton Brook State Park in Wallingford, and Silver Sand State Park in Milford. And that is where we find News Age Jackie Slater there live tonight. She's going to report. In fact, we don't have Jackie right now. She's talking about how those closures really affected swimmers today because it was just a perfect beach weather day. Would be swimmers now building sand castles after a sudden water closure forces them back onto land. Well, we came here about nine o'clock this morning for our last beach day of the summer. I was enjoying ourselves up until about 10 minutes ago. When Amy Nieves arrived this morning, the sign said water quality safe. She found out from us that the DEP tests came back positive for high levels of bacteria. An hour and a half after News 8 first received word of the bacteria problem, swimmers were still in the water and warnings had yet to be posted. We have five small children, four small children with us, one being a six month old infant. So very upset about this. I'm worried that our children are gonna get sick and I think there should have been further action taken to notify everybody. By noon, an employee could be seen alerting swimmers to the issue. While most heard and heeded the warnings, some did not. Many beachgoers felt it wasn't enough to ensure safety. Somehow or another, when a beach is closed, I think it is the responsibility of the Parks Department to have personnel, staff, volunteer, anybody walk the beach and inform each person that is on this beach already. DEP says they make every effort to spread the word, but cutbacks mean one worker serves three parks. They want swimmers to know while extreme levels of bacteria may cause flu-like symptoms, the department errs on the side of caution and never lets it get to that point. People who are in the water, they should just be sure to shower, wash up thoroughly when they get home. The, the standard is so protective. If they were in there for a while, they're going to be fine as long as they get home and, and clean up. That was News 8's Jackie Slater reporting. And this is a great example of why it's so important to download that free News 8 app. That way, in case swimming areas are closed, we're going to send an alert to let you know right there to your phone.